This is a video about my waste oil burner. This burner was originally a home heating oil burner. I converted it to burn waste motor oil because it can be found practically free anywhere. Any local garage that works on cars will give you this stuff to you for free. So that was my inspiration. I'm going to show you how this thing works. Excuse all the wires everywhere because it's a little bit messy still. I'm still ironing out all the kinks and bugs. Okay, first of all, compressed air comes through this line to this air solenoid. This thing only opens when the thermostat orders the burner on. Once it leaves there, it comes through the solenoid and hits this needle valve. This allows me to control the precise amount of air and thus the fuel in the burner chamber. It comes through there into the burner head to a Delavon oil burning nozzle. Out of the side of that nozzle comes the oil feed line. It's a siphon type nozzle designed for burning waste motor oil. That line comes down to my tank that I welded up. This is a custom made tank that I made for this application with the bracketry to bolt to the heat exchanger. Now in here you can see it's full of waste motor oil that I sorted from my truck. I just ran it through a 5 micron bag filter and it's connected up to this um, water heater element. It's heating up right now and it's currently controlled by the PID controller which is up here. I have it set at 110 degrees, I'm not sure if you can see that, and 68 degrees right now. So it's a little low but it works fine for what I'm trying to do. Okay. Now one of the uh, problems I ran into was that the flame is much much longer than normal home heating oil. So I built this tube out of four inch uh, cast iron pipe that I had found. It comes here, I just welded on some bracketry to the burner nozzle and here underneath all this insulation it helps keep the heat into the heat exchanger. It's just bolted on there right now. So it goes through there and it's welded up and it just bolts on normally as a as a normal burner head would. Okay, um, it's controlled. This is my rheostat for the heater in the tank. What this does is allow me to keep it so it doesn't scorch or burn the oil. If that wasn't on there, I tried it without it and it just causes smoke. It's a big pain in the ass. So that's about it. I mean, it burns the stuff nice and clean. I'm going to start another video after this and it's going to show you um, the emissions. It just comes out the top here, just like anything else. But that's it for now. That's going to be my next video on it fully operational. This is a video of my burner under full burning conditions. It runs very clean with no visible emissions. I'm not sure if you can see it, but all that's coming out of the stack is heat wave. There's very, very little to no smoke. And this is not even under full preheat conditions. I'm going to attempt to show you the flame inside the firebox. It very closely resembles the length of the flame before it was converted with the burner tube installed. have this tubing around here is to keep the heat isolated to the firebox. Without it, it kind of got pretty warm and it was starting to damage my electronics. I can't really show you over the video, but it's just as warm as when it was burning uh, home heating oil. So that's my burner. Runs very well. Now all I gotta do is tidy up the wiring and mount it. It's very reliable. Once it gets lit, it's very nice. Well, since it's hard to light when you first start it, I cut this hole right here. 
this hole fits in my propane torch when I first light this thing up. It just fits right there. And I just click it on and it lights it right up. Just a little supplementary starting to make sure the thing starts up. And that's it. That's my burner. Hope you guys like it. This is a video of the coking that I get on the inside of my burner tube on my waste oil burner. This is only about 10 gallons of oil, but it's not too bad considering that all of it has only been filtered through a bag. That's all that's left is just the ash.